Wart van Aert still remains there and still remains a big danger as we're approaching 2Ks to go. We go through it. There's a shake of the head now from James Knox. The wind is about to change direction here. They go straight away over to the right-hand side as it blows from the side. And now then it's game on with two kilometers remaining on the way to the Alto de Foya. Yeah, well, this is where we expect it to happen. As they turn around to the right, the breeze kicks in from the left-hand side. This is where you can start to make the difference. Remco Evenepoel, oh, he's getting shadowed now. Sepp Kuss coming forward with Walt van Aert and the wheel, who's got to be loving his chances of a stage victory atop the foyer today. And Lasco, the latest to struggle at the back, having to really fight the Italian champion with a tricolore showing from up here as we look down. He's the last rider in the line of around 25 who remain now. There he is, Malnus caught last year's winner of this stage in that new jersey of his for Unox moves. And now we get a move. It's Kristen who's moving up on the left-hand side for UAE Emirates. And young Jan Kristen, despite all of the talk about Del Toro before today, is there. He's shadowed, he's covered straight away by Sepkus. That does for James Knox, who ridden brilliantly until this point. Naturally, he's out of gas. And it's now time to free Mikel Landa. Yeah, and Landa with that move that we expected to make. And Remco Evenepoel actually just lets him go for the moment. So lets the gap go, slots in behind Sepp Kuss with the area action. Wolf and Art seated just behind Kristen, just waiting, watching Teo Gegenhardt just behind him. Then it's Tratnik, Tom Pidcock further back, and Landa with his last big turn. Look over the shoulder for him to check the whereabouts of Remco. And will he go or will he sprint? Because he's speedy at the finish too. Wild van Aert has moved up on a couple of the positions as well. He sits on the wheel of Kristen, who's already tried. Kristen's still there. He's the man with the white jersey unzipped. Just out the saddle and sits right back in it. Now Stefan Kung. He's fighting for every second because he knows there's a big time trial this week. But he also knows that the pace is going to be wound up all the way to the finish and will be pretty relentless now. This is such a tough day with the wind buffeting them from the left-hand side. One kilometre to go now to the top of the Alto de Foya. We wonder whether it be another bunch to go. It looks like it might be the case. Any difference is now be minimal. Danny Martinez coming into the gap. What Van Aert struggling to hold on. And he can't hold on. He needs to try and recover if he can, but it's going to be a big ask from here. Wat van Aert slipping, sliding, going further from the front. And this now is Mikel Landa, who's just off to this side, Robbie, and sheltering a little bit those riders behind him. Yep, sheltering him. Sepp Kuss, he'd be very happy with that. Remco Evenepoel, he's the, really the last man who's getting the shelter out of the wind. It's Tratnik behind him as well. Fanart slips a little bit further back again, which is somewhat surprising. But Remco Evenepoel, he'll be loving his chances now with Volt Van Aert slipping back. Well, Van Aert has just been dropped. Yanis Voisal has gone as well. That was Ben Healy out the back. Magnus Court is not going to be involved in the finish today. And now Kristen's losing the wheel as well. This is a big effort for Martinez and Iguita to try and stay in. Teo Gagan Hart is still in as well. It's been a remarkable performance for him to be back. Keep your eye on Jan Tratnik, who is sat on the wheel of Remco Evenepoel. He is ready to go. We're in the last throws of the last big effort now from Mikel Landa with Sepkus on his wheel and waiting to pounce as well. This is an opportunity for a very rare sight at the top of the mountain, but one that this climb gives us each year. It's going to be a small bunch sprint among some of the best GC guys in the world. We're already well in for the final 500 metres. For the leading group, it's going to be 300 here. We're about to go to the front and look. It's time to make the move and make the move now if you want to win. It's Lander going all the way and now it's going to be Evenepoel through the centre. Rimko Evenepoel having a real go, but there's going to be a reaction from Martinez. Behind that, trying to do the same. It's Kusu can't react. It's Evenepoel on the left as we look at it. It's Martinez as we look at it on the right-hand side. And Bora Hans going to go for this one. Bora Hansgrohe looking to try and take the win at the top of the Alto de Foya. Even the Paul can only follow. It's Martinez who's punched a mighty hole in the air in front of him and is going to the line. Danny Martinez, Renko Evenepoel, and then the rest. It is not a foregone conclusion here in Portugal. It is game on with Sepkus in third. And what a performance from Teo Gagan Hart on his return to action. Finishing right up there in the top ten. One by one they come across. The differences will be minimal. But the pace was too high there, even for the likes of the mighty Wart van Aert. That is quite the win for Danny Martinez, who has proved that Remco Evenepoel can be beaten.
Oh, he can. And what a magnificent sprint from Danny Martinez. And they went long head-to-head -head in that sprint from some 300 metres to go. Martinez looked to be struggling on the climb a little bit, but I guess that's just his style, a little bit rocking and rolling. Up. But the sprint, and he just made Remco Evenepoel capitulate.